Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Damn, that's a lot of smoke. Ciao. I like it. It's beautiful. Okay, so. All right, guys. I hope you're doing all right. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated appreciated and it definitely does help out the channel please excuse my mouth it is extra dumb right now <laughs> because of this mercury gosh dang retrograde but it is what it is i'm still gonna roll with it i don't care it is what it is um what's i gonna say okay so this is gonna be for an individual sign i don't know which one yet you probably already clicked on this video because you already saw the title because i probably already wrote it or i wrote it whatever I don't, I don't come up with my titles until I'm done with my readings, just for you guys to know, just so you know, because I find out the information when we both find out with the reading, like in real time, right here. Um, but I'm just going to go over the, some of the things that are channeled, okay? And then we'll flip out, we'll flip out, <laughs> we'll flip out a zodiac sign to see what is, um, who it pertains to, okay? I was picking up uh, something about um, someone experiencing acne or more acne breakouts or something like that. Someone here could be giving you or someone here could be sending you a lot of beauty spells or doing a lot of beauty spells on you and sending you negative energy, okay, be um, towards your beauty, your hygiene, your looks, blah, 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 okay, or how people view you or something like that. Someone here could be trying to do like some sort of glamour spell or whatever they freaking call it, all right? Um, because someone knows that you are, someone knows that you're destined to meet someone, okay? Somebody here who's supposed to truly love, love you and care for you, and someone here is trying to prevent that from happening, okay? Um, by messing with your looks, okay? Or your aura, all right? Um, I also, uh, was picking up the name Owen, okay? Or someone's name could start with an O, I also feel like with the name Owen, it feels like someone feels like they own you, okay? Or someone feels like you owe them something, all right? But let's look up also this uh, angel number 311. Let's see. Angel number... So 311 angel number means that change is coming okay and you have a beautiful opportunity to channel your creative energy and welcome personal growth and spiritual growth as well let's see oh the number 311 also is telling you to get out there and do your thing okay <laughs> 311 is considered a positive message for from your guardian angels to start something new. I don't know, this is for some of y'all. There's some sort of idea, there's some sort of download that I feel like you guys already are sitting on. And your spirit team, your guardian angels, your whatever is like throwing signs at you trying to tell you get on top of that new thing. That sounded really weirdly sexual. <laughs> okay, let me... See. You know what I'm saying. Okay. And also, whoever I'm speaking to, if you are seeing the number 311, you're being told to only seek validation from yourself and not anyone else, all right? Your opinion about who you are, okay, or where you're going... Or what you want to be. Your opinion only matters. No one else's. Okay. I also was picking up uh, something about someone's IP address is of significance. Okay. Um, or someone's first middle or last name could start with an I or start with a P. I also feel like someone here is trying to find your address or trying to find out where you live. Okay. Or where you work or some... They're trying to find out someone's address. It may not even be yours. It could be someone else. Um, when I was saying that, the, the timer said 444. So I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you need to know that you are protected. Even if someone is trying to do this, just know that you are divinely protected. You are safe, okay? Nothing is going to happen to you. The divine is not going to allow someone to harm you, hurt you, 
or whatever, okay? I'm also getting something about, like, someone's going to start hearing spirit's voice or something. Or someone here is going to, someone is deciding to find the courage to speak out. Someone's deciding to use their voice. Okay, this could be someone here who's going to rat someone out. Or just speak the truth, okay? There could be a level of betrayal when it comes to this. But I feel like this is like people who are not doing good things in general. Like these are like, what do they call it? There's no honor among thieves. Okay. Someone here could be born in the year of the rat. Okay. Or someone has rats or something or... There's a rat in the camp. Someone has diseases. Let me... Or someone has a disease. They're finding out they have a disease. I don't know. Let's figure out what, who this is for. Give me... Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What zodiac sign is this uh, reading for? Who came out? Sag. Sagittarius, today's your lucky day. All right, Sag. See what we got going on sagittarius you could be dealing with a taurus or you could have taurus somewhere in your chart holy spirit holy angels who are my sagittarius is dealing with what's going on here we have virgo okay sag you could be dealing with a virgo or you could have virgo somewhere in your chart listen you got someone here who's slowly trying to inch their way away from you or inch their way out of a situation because they know they're in some deep shit i'm also getting like somebody here feels like they're walking in sinking sand or they got trapped in sinking sand or something like that excuse me we have pisces someone here could be a pisces or they could have pisces somewhere in their chart dang someone here could be a taurus or they could have taurus somewhere in their chart um okay you could be dealing with the libra sag okay or your um or you have libra somewhere in your chart saggy okay you're about to have some justice here okay i'm also getting like someone's deciding to get over their they're getting over never mind let me just keep going sometimes i feel like i'm too detailed and i need to like relax the holy spirit holy angels what, who else is involved in this situation for my Sagittarius's? I think this is it. Oh, we got one more. We got Scorpio. You guys could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Or you could have Scorpio somewhere on your chart, okay, Sag? Bottom of the deck, we have Aquarius. Someone here could be Aquari an Aquarius, or you could have Aquarius somewhere on your chart. I'm just going to say what I was going to say, because I know it's probably going to bother some people, because I'm not going to say what I would... Whatever. For some of you, you are healing... Um, perfectionism some of you could be realizing that perfectionism could be holding you back from doing something new or starting a project or finishing something here or um, taking some sort of leap of faith um, showing your work something like that okay that's for some of you not all y'all reach for the stars baby Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do my Sagis need to hear at this time? Yeah, this 12th house keeps coming out. Something about your faith is very significant. You have someone around you that's trying to hide their involvement or that they were involved in something when it comes to you i feel like this is something that's not good okay so um someone could be trying to okay let's just say this because this is kind of what i'm picking up here saggy you guys could be dealing with somebody who was involved in a group okay that were all gung-ho to try to go after you right to try to tear you down in some way or destroy something They got, somebody knows that they're on the, they're losing team. Somebody sees that whatever plan they had is not going the way it's supposed to. So they want to go to the winning team, which is your team. 
because they want shelter or safety. This person's going to want to, they're going to try to play on your um, empathy. Okay? Because I'm looking at the 12th house, it's Pisces, and it's looking all watery. All right? Um, I feel like this person's going to come in and tell you the truth, but they're going to tell you, like, um, they're not going to tell you the whole truth. And nothing but the truth. <laughs> what does that go? Will you put your hand on the Bible in court? Something about court. Courthouse, something about court could be significant for some of you. Or someone is going to have to go to court. Or someone knows that they're getting sentenced to jail and they want your help. Or they want you to, I don't know, con console them. I don't know. No, I need to stop saying I don't know. That's, that's what I feel like. <laughs> we have 10th house. Something here is fated to happen. So whatever is about to go down, this is what's meant to go down. Um, I feel like a lot of these people were deciding to try to stop you from, you know, going through to your north node, going towards your destiny, your destiny, where you're supposed to go, what you're meant to do, what you're meant to be, okay? Or this could be vice versa. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius cross watcher and they're involved in some group and they're coming back to you. Flip it where it needs to go, please. Please be your own leader discernment while watching these general readings. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, put yourself where you need to be. I'm not your mama, I'm not your daddy. What do they need to hear? What do my Sagis need to hear regarding this message, Spirit? Yeah, you're dealing with someone who's still in their south node. This is someone here that really wanted to keep you back in your south node. Someone wants you to be really afraid of um, going towards your destined path or continuing on your destined path, okay? Someone wants you to make a different Someone wants you, to, somebody wants to give you bad directions. Someone wants there to be a situation where there will, where there will not be your destiny or something. Someone wants it to be where you don't have insights to understand what your destiny is. Okay. Someone wants you to have anxiety about where you're going or, or what your destined path is. Okay. Somebody wants you to have a lot of trouble in your career. Um, someone doesn't want you to listen to your inner, your inner wisdom when it comes to your career. Um, or whatever you do for work, okay? Or this career could be uh, representative of your life purpose, right? Somebody wants you to lack understanding because they know that you have a lot to gain if you do understand. All right, you got Jupiter energy here. You got good fortune coming up, child. I feel like this is another reason why someone wants to come towards you. This person might want your validation for something as well. Okay. This person could feel like they they that you owe them something because they know that you're going you're going to be experiencing some sort of good fortune here, and they feel like they deserve part of it. What the hell? You saw that? We have heart chakra. What was I saying? Someone's going to play on your emotions here. Someone might be coming in telling you that they love you. They're going to come in with like an open heart trying to tell you like all the things they didn't tell you before. Okay. Someone here might even come in and try to tell you that they want to offer you love, long-term love here with the number four here. Someone wants to come in and tell you that they're, they're in it for the long haul, but I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more what's going on here? Yeah, you're being asked to stand your ground when it comes to this person or to keep your boundaries up. Okay, someone here could be 47 years old. Um, someone here could be born in 1974. Um, someone here could be a life path 4 or life path 7. Someone's about to have a mental breakdown. We have Wisdom, number 5. Okay, someone here, um, you could be dealing with the Taurus here. Don't have to be, though. All right, someone here could be a life path five. This person could be really handsome or really beautiful, or you are, flip it where it needs to go. What's the bottom of the deck? We have fulfillment of wishes, number nine. Whoever I'm speaking to, if you decide to listen to your inner wisdom and you um, maintain having your boundaries and actually use the things, the lessons that you've learned, okay? <laughs> In your situation, you're going to get some sort of fulfillment of wishes that will start this kickoff of this new beginning here. 
Someone here wants to bring you challenges, baby, though. I'm going to tell you this right now. Someone, Somebody wants you to fight for this prosperous new beginning and this love that's coming in for you. Okay? I'm also getting, like, someone's in denial. That you don't want to be with them. That's what it feels like to me. And now. That's what it looked like. Let me see. Holy Spirit. Yeah, someone wants to come in with some sort of love offer to you. Some sort of um, commitment. Because this card's looking at me. Someone might even come in with some sort of pink roses for you. I don't know. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you tell me more? What do we have for you? Yeah, this person that wants to come in and try to uh, offer you love has a disturbance on them, child. Um, that's a no. Someone here could be 57 years old. What's this? This person is daydreaming about you, too. This person fantasizes about you. This could be someone who fantasizes, like, sexually about you. I feel like this is, like, a sexually based situation. It's the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody cursed. Somebody is cursed. There's someone here who is cursed that's coming to you asking for help. Or someone wants to transfer their curse, their bad juju, onto you. Because they know that you have good luck. <laughs> Ciao! Hell no. Okay? This is someone here who's gonna be who's coming to you in a situation where they're like in a, in the in, in in need. Like someone is going through some sort of misfortune and they're coming to you for help. <sighs> Who the fuck is this person? Who's this person that's cursed spirit? Someone here could be in their forties. Who's this person that's cursed? Okay, this person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger. Note the date. This could be the person that's that's cursed or you. This is not you, but the you have the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger, okay? We have a uh, family or a past connection, okay? So Saggy, one of your family members could be cursed because they were trying to curse you, and now they're coming back. Okay? Or this is an ex of yours. This person could be in an Aquarius. This could be an Aquarius that's cursed and they're coming back to you and they want to heal something with you. Or they're hoping that you would heal them. You could be a healer. Okay? This could be your own damn twin flame. Or someone here try to curse you so that you can... To prevent you from having a twin flame. Okay? And now they're cursed. Someone here has to learn their lesson. Um, this could be a false flame trying to come in. Trying to make you believe that you're there. Your twin flame as well. So just be aware of that. As, be aware of that. Turn the ground. Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, continue to stand your ground. Continue to maintain your goodness in your heart. Okay? Continue to maintain your morality. Because someone here wants to come in and attach some shit to you. <laughs> yeah. We got stop here. Alright? Someone here is going to be put to a, to a stop. Or someone wants to come in and attach something to you so that things can stop flowing in your life. Okay. Someone wants to stop. Somebody wants to stop abundance from flowing into your life. Somebody wants to stop some sort of this new love interest coming into your life. This twin flame coming into your life. For some of you, not all y'all, or a divine partner. Okay, whatever it is, whatever label you want to put on it. Somebody here does not want you to have these good things, these positive things. Okay. No, not these. What else? What else? What else? What else? Keep your boundaries up, please what's this yeah we got fate here whoever i'm speaking to you could be a tarot card reader all right you could be seeing a lot of the number 10 we got 10 10 you've already experienced some sort of karmic cycle with this person for sure and now it's wrapping up and this person's getting desperate that's basically what's going on it's like the attachment that they have on them is ready to feast on them and they're like no 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 please let me just find a, 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 a host another host some shit like that is going on um because they don't want to be gobbled up all right, um, I'm also getting like, you've already foretold something here by listening to your wisdom, or you already can feel something coming, okay, you need to listen to your inner wisdom, please, at this time, or for some of you, this could be a green light for you to go get a personal reading for yourself, okay, to, fig to figure out if this is your message or not, okay, someone here could be born October 5th, okay, 
or May 10th that you're dealing with or that's involved in this situation. Someone's name is Laura. Okay. Or someone's name is like Luke. Mm. Maurice. Something is fatal or something is final. Something is final. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, get some more. What do we have? Yeah, we have introvert. You need to stay to yourself. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what nobody say to you, Sag. You need to stay to yourself right now. This is your best option. I don't care where you're going. I don't care if someone invites you to New Year's Eve party or whatever. It, it's in your best interest to stay home or to stay by yourself. But listen to your own self. Listen to God. <laughs> okay? But I'm just saying, this is what it's looking like. In order for your wishes to come true and for this new beginning to come in, you need to stay in hermit. Don't associate with this person, please. Okay? Also, it's important to keep a lot of the your movements and where you're going quiet. Don't be posting everywhere you're at. Don't be taking selfies at certain locations with landmarks. Just be aware, okay? I'm also getting like someone here is doing something online, okay? I'm also getting if you are a tarot card reader that works online, okay? You're being told to um, be prepared to experience some sort of blessing or something because there's some sort of like you, you may be receiving more support or something online that's for some of you not all y'all okay that's for some of you someone here feels like uh, someone's gonna come here with the tears for sure someone somebody might come to you telling you that they lost somebody near and dear to them this could even been a pet that they felt that they lost or they lost a person in their life but it's because and this could be even someone in your own family. This could be even a feminine energy coming towards you, telling you that someone passed in the family and they want to invite you somewhere. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Um, or this is someone coming to tell you that a feminine energy in your family has passed. Or if this is an ex, an ex wants to come in and tell you that they had a feminine energy in their life past or whoever. Okay? But the reason I'm saying that is because we have feminine energy at the bottom of the deck. Or I could be speaking to a feminine energy. Okay? Listen, and whoever I'm speaking to, you about to get, you about to get have money bags, money bags, money bags, yo, money bags, whoever I'm speaking to, that's what's going on. You need to trust and believe in the universe at this time because something beautiful is coming in and don't allow this weird person to come through. Holy spirit, holy angels, what is going on? What else do they need to hear regarding this situation? What else do my Saggies need to hear when it comes to this situation? Something about the number four is significant. the four corners i don't know let me keep going what do you have to or the stars that you i don't know i okay i'm just gonna say what i heard something about the um eastern stars there's four people who are eastern stars or i don't know let me just keep going there's something here about your car. Somebody here wants to drive your car. Or someone here wants to drive your vehicle, your vessel. Like I told you earlier, there's someone here who has an attachment. And they want to put it on you. So that this thing, this attachment can drive your car, drive your vessel. Please be careful. Okay? 
also you're being told to stay focused and do not give up okay someone wants you to give up easily you need to remember that you're in control all right and someone doesn't like that you're in you're in control of your own vessel okay if someone doesn't like that you're in control of your own emotions you're in control of your own mind um you're in control of your own decisions all right they don't like this you need to know that greater things are coming to you you have a lot of opportunities coming your way you got a lot of luck it's like a you got something good coming in. Continue to stand your ground. What else do you need to hear? What else do my statues need to hear? All right. Yeah, you're being told to speak your truth at this time. If this person comes in, speak the truth. Speak how you truly feel to this person. You don't have to be nasty about it. Just speak the truth, okay, Sagi? <laughs> All right. Express, express boldly and um, fearlessly. All right. Ooh, somebody talking shit what's this yeah see someone wants to invite you somewhere what the hell is this mm. you know what okay okay also this is what i feel like if y'all Can I say this? Mm, let me just say this. You guys are being meant, you guys are really being asked to like rest, okay? So you could rejuvenate here, take a break or something, or just sleep a little more or something. There's a lot of people talking about you. There's a lot of people talking. Okay, listen, whoever I'm speaking to, if you are a tarot card reader, there's a lot of people talking about you right now, all right? I don't know. Something like that is going on. A lot of people are talking about you. They want to invite you somewhere. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Tell me more. This could be at work for some of you because it did say water cooler. Some of you might need to drink more water at this time as well. You're also being asked to speak good things into your life. Speak prosperity into your life. Or some, something is necessary for you to express. Oh, here, here we go. These cards out again. You're about to get the missing piece to the puzzle. The puzzle, the puzzle here. Someone here could be opti autistic. Don't have to be. Um, but there's someone here that's coming to your aid. It's probably the divine. Um, we have picture picture frame here. Things are beautiful. Things are about to come into your life. Okay, things are about to come together. You need to know that you are safe. You are protected. Okay. You're also being asked to focus again. Focus on you improving yourself. Someone here is going to travel somewhere. You could have bought a ticket already. I, I, I don't know why I feel like someone's already bought tickets. Someone already bought a ticket somewhere. You're going, you're taking a flight somewhere. Someone's flying. What's the bottom of the deck? Pluto. We have life, death, and rebirth transformation okay renewal things are definitely going to be renewing in your life right now okay you're about to receive some sort of redemption here out with the old in with the new or that's what your motto should be because there's someone here that wants to come in and act like you know they're in a life or death situation and they need your help but uh, no okay do what you want though I'm not your mom i'm not your daddy all right Sage. Not your mama. I'm not your dick. Use your wisdom, though. Please. Let me see. Let me see. Let's get these out. What else do my Sagis need to hear regarding this situation? Spirit. What do my Sagis need to hear regarding this situation? Okay, you got a lot of people out here pressed. And they're talking about you. That's what I feel like. It says they can't stop thinking about you. Press, 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 press. You got motherfuckers pressed. Okay? Tell me more, spirit. What else? Okay, we got searching. It says you have the drive and motivation that they are looking for. All right? Someone's looking for you. Someone's searching you up. And they're pressed. Because they get, they're obsessed. Someone's obsessed. They're trying to, they're obsessed because they can't control you. 
and they're trying to figure out if you know that they were involved in something okay we have scrying someone wants to know if you know that you they were scrying okay in your energy trying to scry on your energy trying to figure out what you got going on okay you guys could be seeing like little bugs in your house like little flying mosquitoes or flying baby gnats okay we have focusing on your image to figure you out so someone's trying to figure out who you are what you do how you heal by scrying on you mind your damn business look at this see how there are two hands like this and then there's one eyeball in the middle like someone's being stopped from doing this like nah tell me more spirit what else yeah this person here uh, they try to battle you it says they are putting you under a spiritual attack it says put up protection and allow it to wear off they will get their karma so you're just being asked right now to protect yourself don't be out there trying to you know shoot fire back at them shoot arrows back at them just protect yourself and cleanse your energy this person is going to get what they deserve you don't want to fuck up your good karma here holy spirit holy angels tell me more yeah we got seven 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 you don't want to fuck up your good karma here we have luck is on your side child okay you guys can be seeing that angel number a lot what else am i sad you need to hear at this time we got fake news all right it says always making up something new don't allow their fake tears or smile to fool you so someone's gonna come in like a like an unpaid actor or maybe they are paid to do this who knows but this person's gonna come in and act the, their their butt off okay you guys could be dealing with an aspiring actor or actress or you're a actor or actress something about a star someone's a star i don't know something about stars <sighs> maybe you guys need to look into the stars look out look in the stars look at the stars something like that tell me more we got faith it says do not lose hope you will not deal with this for much longer okay this is what you're being told and you need to you might need to do an egg cleanse for some of y'all it says clear your aura let's see let's see what big bertha has to say about this situation Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what does Big Bertha got to say when it comes to my Saggies in this situation? Someone here is refusing to apologize. Someone here has the inability to apologize to people. This is someone here that does not know how to be vulnerable. Um, this person could have a lot of pride. You need to protect your energy from this person. All right, Sag. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more what's going on with my Saggies. We have bitchy person. You're dealing with a bitchy person that doesn't know how to apologize for their bitchiness. We have divine feminine. Your friend is secretly in love with you, basically. That's what's going on. This could be the same sex or the opposite sex. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. We have, I saw you out in public. So somebody could have saw you out in public. All right. We have judges crooked. So something about court, right? uh something about i don't know i'm just gonna leave it at that we have three days something might be happening in three days from now <gasps> what's happening in three days spirit what's happening in three days Ooh, you're gonna realize that you you were right about somebody you were right about someone's intentions okay you were right about someone here who's a bitchy person but they try to act like they're sweet and nice this could be a cancer for some of you um or someone who has cancer somewhere in their chart you could have cancer in your chart but um i'm also getting in the next three days like someone here is gonna express um their emotions they're they're gonna come in with really intense emotions i feel like or you're going to realize you have really strong or psychic ass powers, baby. That's what you might be realizing in the next three days. That's probably what this Venus energy is bringing. I'm also getting like... Your manifestation, sexual... I don't know. Never mind. No, I'm going to say it. Something about sexual manifestation or using sexual energy to manifest or something. Or this is what someone wants to do. They want your sexual energy so that they can manifest something. Flip it where it needs to go, child. 
someone more. Or you could have a best friend, Divine Feminine, that was using sexual energy to to manifest. They could have been thinking about you to manifest, child. Flip it where it needs to go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What's going on? What else do my Saggies need to hear? We have boss, leader, manager. Okay, so whoever I'm speaking to, this could have been your boss, leader, manager that's secretly in love with you. Or your boss, leader, manager is crooked. Or you're a boss leader manager, okay? Flip it where it needs to go. Or someone doesn't like, yeah, someone doesn't like that you're in control or something. Like, you got your shit together? I don't freaking know. We have false marriage docs. So there's something here about some sort of false documents regarding you being in a marriage. We have dreams, okay? You could have dreamt about something here when it comes to a crooked judge or when it comes to some sort of bitchy person or when it comes to somebody who puts you in some sort of false marriage or something about false documents that's for some of you not all y'all okay this could have been another fire sign that you keep dreaming about don't have to be though but we do have fire sign out here holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more what the heck is going on here oh yeah yeah some about a restraining order for some of you you might need to get a restraining order on somebody um damn someone here keeps or this could be a spiritual restraining order because someone here keeps astral traveling and having dirtiness with you in your dreams okay child this could be someone who's of the same sex as you that is your friend quote unquote um that's not a real friend that's why i put the quote unquote or um this is an ex this could be a judge this could be your boss leader manager flip it where it needs to go this could be an aries taurus cusp that's doing it or there's something here about a false marriage with an aries taurus cusp we have stepmom, something here about someone's stepmom is of significance here. We have lying under, under oath. So someone's stepmom could have lied under oath about you. We have shady person, okay? Ay, yeah, yeah. Someone here stole your identity. You're going to find this out. Someone doesn't want you to know that they were involved in stealing your identity, okay? Or stealing something from you. Or that they were involved in testifying in some sort of court and lying. Holy Spirit, can you tell me more? Yeah, we have stage accident or death. Someone here was planning to do this. This could have been your, your shady ass stepmom for some of you. Or a mother that's um, unemotionally available. Okay, a non-nurturing mother. We have calling, texting, emailing you, using fake accounts slash profiles to vamp off energy from you. You guys could be experiencing this random emails texts or fake phone calls from people or whatever private unknown numbers it's because somebody here wants to fuck with you they want to they want to get a little piece of energy from you because i feel like whoever i'm speaking to i feel like they they're being stopped from doing this from ciphering energy off you sexually okay that is disgusting tell me more spirit what else is going on we have stepdad and a lot of step parents step daddy step mama lying under oath trying to stage some sort of accident or death for you we have asked for a badge number so somebody here was um someone is not certified to do something or someone didn't have the credentials to do something but they did it anyway we have noisy neighbors you guys could have really loud neighbors that are annoying or you could have like um neighbors that are nosy like they're always like trying to figure out what you got going on either they do this like in your face like asking you like oh what you doing where are you going da, 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 every 10 minutes and like listen <laughs> let me be quiet let me keep going Like, they're always tracking your movements. Like, oh, aren't you supposed to go so as, like to X, Y, and Z right now? You're like, how do you know my schedule better than me? Some shit like that. That's for some of you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? We have warrant for arrest. Someone here is going to be receiving some sort of warrant for arrest. Or they maybe they already are aware of this and they're trying to get out of this somehow. This could be... Um, this bitchy person or this judge that's crooked maybe there's a judge that's crooked that put out a warrant for your arrest and you're not even aware of this that's for some of you not all y'all we have hit and run involving a death this is something someone was planning to do for you listen this is big bertha it's not gonna resonate with everyone do not freak yourself out if none of this is resonating do not pick it up if it ain't yours we have abundance okay someone here really just wanted 
money something about money here i'm also getting like someone here could have stole your money stole your inheritance stole something that was left to you or that was owed to you and they're not they're refusing to apologize for taking it we have spiritual awakening okay someone here could be experiencing some sort of spiritual awakening this could be one of your half brothers or sisters okay they could be feeling bad for what they were involved in that's for some of you not all y'all what the hell is this we got tinder date something here about a tinder date there could have been someone that you had a tinder date with okay that lied under oath or was part of you getting involved in some sort of hit and run involving a death or something like that someone's first middle or last name could start with a day <sighs> what song is that we have drama creator somewhere here is a drama creator okay Who's this drama creator? Cause gosh dang, who is this drama creator spirit for my Sagis? This drama creator could be someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of an ox. Note the date. Someone here could drive a blue, a midnight blue car. We have um, goat. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a goat. Note the date. That was a drama creator. Some about this and this. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Who this? Ciao. Tell me more. There's some sort of inside job with a bank teller. This is how someone here was a lot or was able to get some of your or to get your abundance here, or what was left to you. We have gang activity. This was a group activity. Someone's trying to get out of this group. Someone here wants to say, I regret that I left you. This person has abandonment issues. So this is someone here who could who left you before you could leave them. Child, please. Shit has hit the fan and now someone wants to back out of the plan. Child, that rhymed. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Yeah, something here about the movie Prince of Egypt. Let my people go. You're being freed and you're helping free other people here. Someone has seen something in their dreams that regards you. We have robbery. Somebody getting in trouble. Somebody was trying to plan a robbery against you because you're a stable person. I'm so over this. I'm over it, Sag. We're moving on. What else do they need to know? This could have been someone's brother. Someone's brother is involved in this situation with the Prince of Egypt. Or you could realize that you don't have, you don't come from the same bloodline as your family. Someone here could be adopted. Okay. <clears throat> Or someone here could um, have a strong um, attraction towards Egypt. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more what's going on here? What else do my Sagis need to hear? Okay, we have Immortal. Whoever I'm speaking to, um, someone here thought they were untouchable or something. But they're realizing you're the one that's untouchable. I'm also getting like someone felt pressured from their family or their friends to leave you or to not take your relationship to the next level because of what other people think. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay. Someone here could be drinking a lot. Like someone could be like, someone here could like lay at bed at night and look at your photos or something. Or look at the pictures that they have, have that they have with you. And they could cry about it or something. They like weep. I'm getting like weeping. The word weep. What's the difference between crying and and weeping? Where's my gosh dang phone?
Listen, whoever I'm speaking to, do not do not dig back in the trash and take and pick something out of the trash that you already threw away. Confirmation. Someone literally is weeping. It says, shedding tears. It says, a Victorian tombstone that depicted a weeping woman. This could be a woman that's weeping. Or vice versa. Flip it where it needs to go. Someone's Italian. Ooh. That's too many. Someone's Italian, a dis Italian descent or something. <clears throat> yeah, someone's gonna come in calling you for help. What was I saying? Someone's gonna reach out to you. They're gonna admit that they need you, they need your help, blah 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 blah. But this person, like, low-key feels like you owe them, like you, like you're obligated to help them, or you should, like it's your duty, like, I don't know, it's entitled, it's entitled, but they're asking, I don't fucking know, this is someone here that tried to sacrifice you, okay, um, Someone try to sacrifice you. But it's your time to have fun. It's your time to enjoy life. Something about the outside looking in. Someone helped you master chaos. Someone helped you master, master being an outsider or master being alone or... Something about the mother of dragons. You see how this girl had little dragons around her? Little baby, little baby dragon here, little baby dragon here. You got the power, whoever I'm speaking to. The ball is in your court, someone knows this. Something about a water sign. <clears throat> Someone's hoping and banking on your good manners and your polite nature. Child, I don't know. Yeah, somebody wants you to help bring them back to life or help them in some way. Listen, the other day when I was in the Mexican restaurant, all right, I saw a painting that was similar to this, but it was like Aztec. It was like an Aztec painting. It was like an an Aztec warrior with like a headdress on, like holding an, a, a, a woman. I don't know, child. I don't freaking know. Someone here is craving your energy though. They're thirsting for it, okay? Do 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 no 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 sorry Holy Spirit Holy Angels can you tell me more what's going on with my sadies what else do they need to hear okay we have divine vision hold on to your hold on to your vision here okay Sag it says get out of your own way all right it says, discard your projected outcomes and allow yourself to see beyond. Stop focusing on the negative, focus on the positive. Focus on all the good things that could happen. Focus on all the things that you could, um, what you can achieve, what you want your life to be. Create your own reality. What you're seeing right now is temporary. We have conquering, okay? It says, victory will be yours. Set your intention and watch it come back to you, okay? You're about to overcome something. You're about to have some sort of level of victory or success, okay? Especially in your career or when it comes to your life purpose. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me what's going on with my sadgers? Okay, we have Ascension. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are ascending, baby, okay? 
you're shifting from one reality to you're shifting from one reality to a higher vibrational reality it's time to soar to new heights okay you are destined to thrive here whoever i'm speaking to you're gonna have some sort of increase something here is about to take off okay listen like i was saying before if you're a tarot card reader you're watching my channel you're you in something's gonna take off something is about to be popping on whatever you got going on okay i'm just letting you know um yeah you're being asked to transmute this energy when it comes in because i feel like for a lot of you this might piss you to fuck off this person coming in asking you for help. All right. Things are shifting. Things are changing. Things are being reversed. Power dynamics are shifting. And there's someone here who's freaking out about it. And they want to come to you and ask you for help, child. I don't know. What else do they need to know, spirit? Should I get the shells? Let me just see what this is. I don't want this to be too long. What's going on with my sages? What do they need to hear? Yeah, you and this other person could have a soul tie together. It says I always feel connected to you. You guys might do you might need to do a cord cutting because this person kept doing this in your dreams. We have shadow side. It says you made you made me realize my flaws, but it's a little too late. I feel like disagreements, someone says. Um I wish you understood how I feel, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this person, this is what they're going to come in and say to you. Yeah, you and this person could have a really good chemistry together, but I don't know. It says, I have never felt a passion this intense. Something about intense emotions. Someone's regretting that they held back how they felt or they know they should have expressed themselves something about expression is very significant here in your reading someone needs to express how they feel or speak something out i feel like someone felt like they weren't enough okay someone here could have felt like things weren't perfect or they weren't perfect or whatever the hell it is or maybe they were saying this about you and now they're realizing they fucked up on something who knows let's figure out what's going on with my sisters but um like i said before do you want to take that thing back out the trash can it's, it's up to you what do my sagis need to hear we have listen more carefully than you will know you're being asked to listen to your heart listen to what your heart's telling you listen to your inner wisdom when it comes to this situation this could be regarding a taurus or something about marriage or a long-term commitment with someone um or this could be regarding some sort of Gemini or someone who has Gemini somewhere in their chart. Okay, or this is going to be happening in Mercury retrograde. Or pay attention to this person and how they communicate with you or what they communicate or what they don't communicate. Okay. I got to end this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what am I, um, <coughs> what am I sad you need to <laughs> What do my Sagis need to hear? What do they need to hear at this time, Spirit? We got three, 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 three. It says, you are a powerful communicator. It says, Compliment, confidently use this skill to interact with others and share your creative gifts with the world and help those less fortunate. Okay? This is what you're being asked to do, Sagi. We have 404. It says, set goals for yourself and focus on the things that matter most. Everything else will fall into place. Focus on what matters. Focus, please. We have 4141. Someone here could be 41 years old. We have, come on now. It says, you're on the right path to rediscovery. This includes realizing hidden talents and how they can be used for your own benefit and to assist others. Okay. Some deep diving. We have 9191. Ciao. We have a new door is opening for you. Walk through it with confidence and faith. Okay. And then we have 1717. It says you are meant to teach, heal, and or communicate while serving the greater good of all humanity. Someone needs to talk. 
you're meant to share your testimony or teach people how you've healed from x y and z someone something you're being called into work whoever i'm speaking to you're being called into work it's time to clock in light worker healer motivational speaker should i get the shells out i'm gonna get out the shells but i'm not gonna do it for too long holy spirit holy angels, what am i tagging in here That's it. Someone's first middle or last name could start with an O. A D. Ooh. Someone might OD. Or maybe you're going to find out that's how someone passed. We have M. We have U. We have N. We have U again. Come on now. We got K. We have S. We have L. We have J. We have Q. Damn. Q, I guess, is important. We have B. And we have G. All right. <laughs> Someone's last name could be Gonzalez. That's for some of you, not all y'all. <gasps> Somebody needs you. Someone's name could be Dustin or Dewey. Something about the word Dolce. Someone here could think you're really sweet. Something here about a mugshot is of significance. Okay. Someone's initials could be MJ or BJ or DJ. Someone here could be a DJ. Someone's name could be KJ. We have just kidding. Someone here could have been joking around with you or someone thought something was a joke. They're realizing it's not a joke. Someone here is pretending that something is okay. We have okay out here. Or someone wants you to tell them that everything is going to be okay. Okay. <laughs> Something is summing up. Something is wrapping up here for someone. Someone here could be black or African American. Someone here could be the be from the Church of Latter Day Saints. The LDS church or something. Something about some sort of religion is significant. Something about Monday is significant for some of you. Something might be happening on Monday. Maybe this person's going to come talk to you on Monday. Or you might get a message or a phone call from this person. We have bus. Okay, someone here may have to take the bus. Maybe somebody got in a car accident or they messed up their car or their motorcycle or something and they have to take the bus now. I don't know, something about the bus. Someone here could work for the city and they drive the bus. Someone here could drive the bus for the school district as well, okay? This could be you or someone you're dealing with. Something about a mukbang? I don't know. Maybe this is <laughs> someone does mukbangs? I don't know. Where you, like, eat food for content or something? Something's gonna happen suddenly, I feel like. Whoever I'm speaking to, you got yourself out from the mud. We have mud out here. Okay, so there's somebody here that wants to come in and ask you for help, okay? But they want you to help them get out of something like in like the easy way. But you, whoever I'm speaking to, you got yourself out of like a lot of sticky situations by yourself. You need to allow this person to learn their own lesson is what I feel like. Someone here is coming in with a lot of lust. That's what I feel like is going on here as well. Someone's name could be Justin. Something here about someone's son is very significant as well. We have the word son out here. All right. Something here about a lewd act. Something about lewd acts. Okay. Lewd. 
Someone's name is Dirk. Okay. Something about Dairy Queen is significant. Okay. We have the word God out here. Something about God's son, maybe Jesus. Something about Jesus. Someone needs Jesus. Maybe you need to tell this person when they come to you, you need Jesus. You don't need me. All right. We got, <laughs> but we do have God out here. Something about God. God is definitely um, playing a role in your life. Okay. Something here about a slug. Someone could own like a, those guns. That I guess they're called slugs. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know too much about about drugs. Or not drugs, slugs. Something about drugs and slugs then. Someone has guns and someone has drugs. Jesus Christ. Someone's name is John. Someone's name could be Donald or Don. Someone did something dumb or they're about to do something dumb. We have dumb out here. Literally, the word dumb. Someone here could live in the slums. We have slum out here. Someone here could be numb. Someone could be numbing themselves with drugs or alcohol here. Um, or pills. Something. They're doing something. Okay. Someone's initials could be SJ or JS. Someone's name could be Gus. There is something about a gun here, though. We have gun out here again. Okay, I'm going to end this now. Alright, Saggy. This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.